Hey there guys, gals, and non-binary pounds. It's your boy Liger back at it again with some more Tales of Arise, continuing right where we left off last episode. Yeah, the Lord of Mahagsar hollowed basically the entire Danon population of Niez simultaneously. Um I I guess I had the fruit of Helgen snuck into something they were drinking. And so, and since massive emotions speed the process of hollowing, and they all were consumed by hatred at that exact moment, uh, they all hollowed simultaneously, just instant, instantly. Um, yeah, pretty, pretty messed up. Also, then we found out that the Lord she she killed Renwell's parents and her entire clan. Yeah, so this is it's been a lot, but she called down a giant Zoogle that we're now about to fight. We're just gonna literally jump right into it. So let's go. Hope y'all are ready. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a wild ride. Sorry for almost blowing me up. Hey, not like it's the first time. Come on, we need to take her down. Okay. Hey, you. Let the marksman handle this. Far enough. No further. Here we go. Lightning can damage our dragon. Thunder through the healing arc. This one's mine. Oh, wow. Uh. Here's a healing arc. Thank you. Just what the doctor ordered. Just what the doctor ordered. Thank you. Here, you Cyan, Megaton, it's it's I'll show you just how strong my arts really are. Now you see what I can. Come on a roll now. Not on my watch. Mega Ray. Oh wow. He does so much damage. I need to modify my strategy. Holy crap, they use apple gel like it's going out of style. 25% or less, use a peach gel. That should mean you use less of it than you've been using before. If you get to 25%, use a lemon gel right i think that'll be the, the one yeah lightning thrust mirage here you go. Oh boy, lemon gel, please. Here I come. Got it. Make sun thrust. Try to break this core. Here, let me help. This one's mine. I never fit. You're mine. It's over. Luna won't save you. Ah, perfect. You may be strong, but I'll never back down. Let's go. Scarlet Inferno. Scarlet Inferno. I'll heal you all. Lightning raging healing Watch this. There we go. You picked the wrong fight. Give me a core break. Look sharp. Lightning Tiger Blade. Dragon 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 Blade. Dragon
in a vine. It's different from before. It's about to come at us. Look sharp. Here, you have one of those. Sub Zero confinement. Hey, Law. Do me a favor. Hit him in the face. Nice one, Kisara. Let's get up. Rising Phoenix. Where are you going? Helen Hurricane. It probably will. Ow. Let's see if I can get a core break. No, but I got a boost break. Can't get out of this. Here, let me Mega Sonic Blade. Okay, let me drop another lemon gel on Alfin, and then let's see if we can. Maybe I can do something like Double Demon Fang. No, actually, let's do let's do this. It's fine. Now you see what I can do. Oh wow. Oh wow, I need to use that more often. Good core break. And go. Right, let's do this. Thank you. Oh, whoops. I got knocked down. Thank you. Here, get in there. Here, have an explosive ring to the face. You require a hand. I never miss. Take this. May a thousand gales carry you across water. Good boost break. Uh, Peach Gel for Alfin. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Explosive ring, Alfin. Classic flaming swing. Good job. <sighs> Did it. Is everyone all right? Yeah. But I'm major, it got away. Linwell, are you... What? What the hell happened here? Bayfon, is that you? Thank goodness you're okay. I've been outside this city this whole time. But I sensed a disturbance in the wind and decided to turn back. What happened here? Where is everybody? All Matria's handiwork. She allowed herself to be captured so she could rile up the Danans into a frenzy and rob them of their astral energy. She wiped out almost everyone in the plaza, including Deadheim. Deadheim's dead. Everyone. And the Darkwings. Almost all of our companions in the Resistance. How could this happen? Regardless of what she had to gain, what kind of person would do something like that? A terrible one. If she managed to find kinship in Kelzalik, then I'd say the very worst kind. It's clear now that she used men in Sia as a testing ground for the fruits of Helgen, before using them here. So everything that led up to this moment was all a part of her plan. Yep. Once she knew they'd eaten enough tainted food, 
She just needed to get herself caught. We have to go after her. Balseth and Ganabel were horrible, but Almadria makes them look like saints. Right? I doubt she's really gone back into hiding. We have to put an end to this once and for all. Yeah, what she's done can't be forgiven. I... I don't know what to do. I saw what hatred did to those people, but... Hating her is the only thing that's kept me going. I can't just stop hating her. What am I supposed to do? Tell me. Smile at her from across the battlefield? Apologize while we fight her? I don't know if I can do that. Rinwell. Nobody can understand what you've been through. We can't even begin to imagine the pain you've experienced. But if hate is what has kept you going ever since that day, then let it be your strength. However, think about this. When you've had your revenge, when we've beaten Almadria, then what will you do? Huh? I'm saying you're going to have to find a way to survive once that hatred is gone. True. When it is, what do you plan on doing then? I don't... I don't know. I've never thought about it before. Almadria's death doesn't have to be your end, too. You need a reason to live, Rinwell, not an excuse to die. Understand? <sighs> She's right. We could never truly know the pain that Almadria has caused you. But I think you should listen to Xion. Give yourself time to consider things. And if it's too much right now, it's okay for you to sit this one out. No. My head might be a mess right now, but I'm not letting you fight Almadria without me. I need to be there, please. That much I do know. I'm going with you. And on the road, I'll... I'll think about it. A reason to live. Without hate. That said, it'll be no good chasing after her blind with no idea where she went. Bayfon, do you have any ideas where she might have gone? I can't say for sure. But west of here is an underground harbor along a cliff near the coast. She spent years building a ship there. Oh. A floating fortress that she called her castle on the sea. Okay, that's probably where she went. No one quite knew why she wanted the thing. But now... Of course. She's already effectively destroyed her own capital. It's likely she planned to abandon her realm as well. Right. That's Which she has an un Let's go. godly amount of astral energy, so she's probably still... Even if she abandons the realm now, she's still in contention for... The, the crown contest. Ball intervener. Hmm. I got I got a bunch of stuff by intervening against uh against Renwell there. Reduced awakening requirements. Oh uh, yeah. Can I get that on other people? Faster AG recovery, void flash. Increase weak point damage is good. Yes, yes. Searing wind. Uh huh, uh huh. Stardust. Uh huh, uh huh. Yep, mm hmm. That gave me defense plus 10. I think that's all I can do right now. Yeah, okay. Sheon. Yeah, increase special ammo. This is going to give me penetration. Very good, very good. Hitter evasion. Increased uh, faster AG recovery. Good, good, good. Increase boost gauge, mini me downs, also good. Renwell, uh, recover, faster magic charge. Oh, yeah, that'll be helpful. Increased anti damage, dragon damage. Ooh, okay. Freeze Lancer, Celestial Hammer, and uh, we'll do faster AG recovery later. Arts casting mobility allow you to move while casting arts. Oh, that's what I need. 
that that is what i need actually um let's set a notification on that one increase boost strike damage increase rod extension attack and time limit and then kisara give me faster ag recovery um increase counterattack damage lion's howl what did that give me elemental damage elemental damage good okay cool what's that woman going to do next nothing good i'll bet we'll stop it this time <laughs> well god i can't believe that happened cannot believe that happened not believe that happened just freaking terrible man freaking terrible let's go to the inn and we'll heal and then watch the skit and then go with pursuit cook yeah let's do what's the dark mark Makes you easier to detect when making contact with enemy icons. Hmm. I'm not sure what that means. Um, elemental attack. Uh. Yeah, let's do. Let's do. Elemental attack up. Yeah. Make for somebody else. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, we are done. Now let us go. Let us go. Um, I'm guessing that. Oh wait, I said we were gonna do this skit, huh? Let's do the skit before we leave. I still can't believe what that old Madria did. Not only that, but she was enjoying it. Yeah, right. It's patently clear she has no respect for human life whatsoever. We need to take her out. I don't think I've ever felt so enraged at another person in my whole life. Yeah, there's no way she's getting away with this. Then we head for the underground docks. We need to hurry. Rinwell, mm -hmm. can you keep moving? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Rinwell's vendetta. My family and I, we spent all of our days just living and hiding until until one day when we were found and attacked i was the only one my dad and the others hid that's the reason i survived while the rest of my family was butchered oh the only thing that i could see was the crest of a lord glowing through the smoke and then and then it was almadria who did it I'm sorry, Rinwell. That woman. Did she really find the existence of Dan and Mages to be that much of a threat? Enough to invade another lord's territory? No, I doubt that. Most likely, she was after their knowledge and techniques. She only did it so she could become stronger. That's the kind of woman she is. Mm. In retrospect, I do remember her making it sound like she created that monster she summoned. A monster. She probably did. I wonder, do you all think of me as a monster? Because I'm able to use magic even though I'm Danon? No, Rinwell. Never. Of course we don't think you're a monster, you dummy. Huh? I might have had to hold you back, but it's her fault any of this ever happened, not yours. Got it? Ah. Uh. I'm glad Law didn't die from his wounds, though. <laughs> that could have been bad. Um. <sighs> okay, where? Hidden dock to the west of Niaz. Is is it here somewhere? Map action. That's east. 
Yeah, this is this is west, so somewhere in here. Um I'm going to assume the lake is the place we're going. That makes the most sense. Anything else doesn't make sense because you would need a place to be able to launch the thing. And yet, I don't see. What's with that shining foe over there? Any enemies here? It's supposed to be a hidden dock, but it can't be too hidden, right? Head for the hidden underground dock west. Yes, that is incredibly unhelpful. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, hey, we can heal somebody. It's and it's super unhelpful because we don't have a, a mark on the map anywhere. Oh, we got some sea bream. Thanks. I appreciate it. Oh, hey, look at that. Goddess of kindness. Poggers. That'll give us 40 elements of defense. I wonder just how many style. people have been saved by Xion in some form. I'm impressed. There's rumors flying around about people being saved by a Renin vision of beauty. The vision Renin of beauty? vision of beauty. That's a bit much. Uh, I don't know. Mm. Where Xion, do you're come into this? pretty pretty. I'm getting pretty hungry. Want to sit down and fix something? Yep. The sooner the better. Wait, okay, okay, so this isn't it? Really? Okay, um... What about the ruins? I guess... Let's go to the hills and let's try going to the ruins then. That's Ford, technically, and so maybe, maybe that'll be what we need to do. Can't get that. Okay, well, gotta. Oh nope, 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 nope. This way. I was hoping I could climb. Instead, I gotta go around a circle. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Maybe I can avoid fighting for now. I've had too many fights lately anyway. I'm overpowered, or I guess accurately powered is a better way to put it. Peppers. Okay. I see plenty of ruins around here too. It must have been a big town bustling with people back in the day. For crown yeah. contest participants. Places such as these are but vectors for the astral energy they pursue. Similar to that windmill, for instance. <laughs> what windmill? Oh, the, the windmill and the, uh... Thought I just heard uh, an owl here, but I don't see it. Uh, oh, okay. Well, it's just a chest. Here I was thinking, oh, maybe I'll drop down here and they'll it'll open up and there'll all of a sudden be this massive underground location that I can find the boat in. Alas, I was wrong. Oh, hi there. Do you think this is one of the places where the Dark Wings and Almadria fought? I wouldn't be so sure. This place appears more ravaged by time than combat. Even yeah. if there are signs of destruction, it would likely have taken place during the Great Conquest of 300 years prior. Great and Conquest. Since, it's been a breeding ground for Zoogles, I guess. Not really a fan of, of calling it the Great Conquest as if it was a good thing. Okay, not there. Let's go across this bridge over here. You guys want to rest here? 
Fast travel point added. Almadria can A can dead end? No, there's an elevator. Looks operational. Oh, entrance, hidden warp. Okay, yeah, here we go, here we go, here we go. We found it. So wait, if this kind of dead ends here, how do we how do we get to the next area? Cause there's not a there's not another place through Esteluve. Maybe the, not that tower, or maybe maybe we have to go through the, the ship. Here. I can't believe there's actually an underground harbor here. There, there are even bo boats docked. I only see Danny's. Think they were forced to work here? Probably. Let's see what they have to share about Almadria. Heavy treat. Oh, nice. Um, it's real unusual for Lord Almadria to come through here without letting us know ahead of time. She took off with a sizable pasta too. Wonder what that's about. Guess your guess is good as mine. Just got you didn't ask us to come along with her. Okay, so this is not that boat she was building. She took off in another boat that is bigger than this one. And I guess these Danons are used to seeing her here. Ain't been back to Niaz in a long while. If it ain't one bright eyes busting my chops on deck, it's another busting my chops on the dock. Speaking of which, did you hear? Say that all the cargo might contain stolen goods. What someone smuggled from outside the realm. Oh yeah, I heard. But it doesn't concern us what's inside. Our job is to process them and move on. Mm -hmm. Get out. To fish in the ocean, but if you don't mind fish river fishing is a good spot outside. Okay. Boat here is used for shipping. Compared to her, her personal ship, this is a cupcake. Oh boy. This is a well, it's not that big of a of a ship, to be honest. You didn't happen to see a lord come by, did you? Sorry, friend, but she just left. Came by with a whole posse of underlings, boarded her ship, and took off at first wind. Of course she did. We damn near got blown away. She was that much in a hurry. Damn! So we missed her! You guys trying to go after her? Need a ride? Are you saying you know how to steer a ship? Spent most of my life chained to the deck of some ship or other. Yeah, I know my jib from my boom. We don't know how dangerous it'll be. Better you give us the boat and stay on solid ground. Whoa there. You been out on the water before? The sea ain't nobody's friend, you know. You need a sea dog like me or you'll sink her before she makes it out the harbor. We're losing time. Sir, we're in your debt. Now that's more like it. Name's Mahavar. Just give me a holler when you're all set and we'll set sail. Okay, Mahavar. Sounds good to me. Ready to go? Yeah, let's go. It's gonna get bumpy. It's gonna get bumpy, 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 bumpy. Clap, clap, clap. Clap your hands. <laughs> I'm sorry. That just popped into my head. This is like a dream come true. Never gotten a captain a ship before. Never would have thought I'd get a chance like this. Thank you, y'all. The pleasure's all ours. Think we'll catch up to her? Of course we will. They got too much weight on them. Meanwhile, this ship's carrying nothing but us salty scalawags. They got a good head start on us, but we can take them. Do you know if there are any Danons on that ship? Couldn't say for sure. On the one hand, seeing as it's supposed to be something of another castle, I reckon they probably wouldn't let a bunch of Danons on board. On the other hand, I'd be real surprised if the Renans were able to pilot that thing all by themselves. Hmm. In any case, it's gonna be a while before we reach her. Until then, you're all free to do whatever. Just don't fall in the ocean. Just don't fall in the ocean. Your party disbanded. You know, oh, said we could take it easy, but there's not exactly a lot to do on this boat. No, not really. Everyone and see how they're holding up. Okay, let's uh let's talk to one and, and see how this goes. You don't look so good. Are you alright? Oh, C said. The floor. It keeps moving. How can you stand it? How can you even stand? 
I'm not the best person to ask about discomfort. I can't feel pain, remember? I still can't believe what happened in Niez. Even now. As a lord, my expectations for Almedia oh, were already pretty low. But the way she treated human lives like they're mere playthings. Right. Yeah. And it wasn't as if the situation in Niaz was improving much to begin with. You mean dead I'm. The whole reason I started fighting back was because of my anger at the atrocities of Renan rule. Back then, all I had to worry about was fighting the Renans for the sake of the Danans. But then I met Shion and the people of Menencia, and things became a lot more complicated. It's even messier now that we have to worry about Danans like Deadeye. It used to be that the Danans were the ones in the right, and the Renans were the ones in the wrong. Though, maybe that was just a biased perspective from being on the side of the oppressed. It's quite possible. Exactly. I'll never tolerate the Renans ruling over us. But nothing ever ends up being as black and white as you'd expect it to be either. That's clear to me now. That said, even putting aside bad apples like Deadeim for a moment, you may be able to free the Danon people, but that won't undo 300 years of oppression. It'll be hard for them to not give in to their resentment. I think maybe that's why I clung to our dream so hard back in Menencia. Even if his motivations weren't pure, Doalim has a good heart. He didn't sink to the depths Almadria did. You don't understand. I'm saying that it goes deeper than that. This hierarchy we live in, it's not solely something the Renans invented. I remember a story Rinwell once told me. She said before the Renans invaded, we Danans had our own class system. We are the ones who divided ourselves. I saw it in Deadeim's eyes. He wanted to rule over others. Mm-hmm. To hear Bayfon tell it, Deadeim wasn't always that way. But as time went on, and he and the Darkwings fought the Renans, he eventually changed. Game power I hungry. what I'm getting at is, if we defeat the Renans but just go back to the way things were before, was there even any point in fighting? But that world isn't the one you want to create, right? Maybe not. But to tell you the truth, these days I'm not so sure that dream is even possible. Mm -hmm. Why not? You have your promise to Megal, though. Your home and the people of Menencia are depending on you. I know. My brother. He truly believed in his dream of coexistence. And I suppose, even now, many people still do. And then, there's you. Us being weird. Who, me? You and Xion. <clears throat> I'm not sure I follow. Okay, then let me spell it out for you. How many other Renans and Danans do you know that get on as spectacularly as the two of you? I would say exactly probably I zero. Know that I'd say spectacularly. Well, I suppose it's really all a matter of how you look at it, isn't it? I really don't see what you're getting. <sighs> I think I'm getting seasick again. Sorry. Can you just give me a wide berth for a few minutes? <laughs> oh, Kisara. Um, let's do one more. Let's talk to Law, and then we'll end I took for a look around today. inside the ship just in case, but I didn't find anything that looked like it might be suspicious. Thanks. I appreciate it. You know, it wasn't until I left Calaglia that I finally realized just how big the world is. When we tore down the wall in Calaglia, and I could finally see the horizon in the far-off distance, I had the exact same thought. Yeah, somehow the sea is different, though. I'm not sure just how to put it. It's almost as if it just goes on forever. Kinda, I think my yeah. old man would have been blown away by this view. <clears throat> yeah. Ever since he died, I've been thinking about what it was that he was really trying to say to me at the end. I keep going over his words again and again. And heck, maybe I'm just overthinking it all. But still, sometimes I wonder if it could have turned out differently. If there was something I could have done. But no matter how much I play it back, I'm still no closer to finding any answers. And then there's everything with Rinwell. I stopped her from killing Almadria. Was that really the right thing to do? Or did I just end up making things harder for her? 
Mm. I feel like such a screw up. You're not the only one. I keep asking myself what Zephyr would have done had he been here. Like I think, how would Zephyr have handled Rinwell? Yeah, I think he definitely would have stopped her. No doubt about it. Yep, he probably that's would have. exactly what you did, Law. I think he'd be really proud of you. Alfin. Zephyr's not the worst yardstick to measure ourselves against. Let's both do our best to make him proud. Sounds like a deal. Thanks, Alfin. Okay. Well, that actually didn't take nearly as long as I was going to, but... Yeah, we'll do one more. Hold that pose long enough and someone might just come along and paint you. Any artist who'd see fit to paint me needs their eyes tested. What can you tell me about Almadria? Not as much as you'd probably wish. I only ended up crossing paths with her a handful of times, after I was chosen to be a lord on Lenigus. Ah, right. I almost forgot about Lenigus. How much do you think they know about what's been going on down here? It's safe to assume they know everything, though I know not why they choose to remain uninvolved. Perhaps they see what's been happening as just part of the ongoing crown contest. Even what Almadria did? Has Definitely. Has really reached the point where her actions are seen as normal? Not to my knowledge, no. At its core, the crown contest is a competition to see who can amass the most astral energy. And to amass such energy, slaves are needed to collect it from. It's therefore against the Lord's interest to kill them. So then why would Almadria do something like that? We must remember that time is running out in the crown contest. Perhaps her hand was forced, so to speak. It is a way to accrue astral energy faster and in larger quantities than through slave labor. Doing so kills off that labor force, obviously. But it is a means to an end, nonetheless. Mm. No one could have foreseen that something like the Hollowing would arise back when the contest was first conceived. Is becoming the Sovereign of Rena really that important to the Lords? Of course. It's the greatest prize one can attain in their eyes. In well, with the way their society least, is set up, yeah. I'm really not that surprised that Almadria resorted to what she did. As utterly despicable as it is. It's reassuring to hear you feel the same way I do. I worry that the only reason I never did anything similar in Menencia was due to my lack of ambition. If you didn't want to be reminded of your past, you could have just plugged your ears. You think too highly of me. I'm afraid I must respectfully disagree. I'm not nearly as virtuous of a person as you might wish to believe. If that's so, would you have been so shaken up when Kisara lost her brother? Why else would you turn your back on your own kind and choose to fight for Megal's dream? Aren't we just Danans? A curious choice of words. Did what you see in Mahog Sar hit you that hard? What Dead Eim did to that city? He didn't liberate anyone. Anyone who refused to follow him was an enemy in his eyes. Three hundred years of Renan rule taught him nothing. What I have come to understand is that the conflict extends beyond Danon versus Renan. There is an internal quarrel as well. Mm-hmm. I mean to bring about a true, lasting coexistence in Menencia. But there are more walls we must topple first. And you don't think you can pull it off? Well... You seem to think you can, at least. Does that make us enemies? Insofar as an exchange of swordplay, no, it doesn't. Not good enough for you? Are you really... <sighs> Forgive me. I will continue to fight by your side a while longer. That much I have decided. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, well... On that no. I think yeah, we're gonna we're gonna end here because any more than that, it's gonna take too long. But thanks for watching, y'all. Um, yeah, that fight at the beginning was kind of fun. <laughs> I liked it. Uh, we gotta catch up to her. We gotta take her out. They're right. This, what she did is unforgivable. We can't we can't allow it to stand. So we're we're, we're gonna do this. But yeah. Do that next episode. If you like what you saw today, make sure to click that like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to click the subscribe button and click the little bell. 
That way you know when I post new videos and if you want to talk about anything that happened in today's episode or any of the previous episodes, feel free to leave a comment below. I read them all and try to reply to as many as I can. But I will see y'all in the next episode. Until then, game on.